So I'm going to tell you about the truth about art gallery starting right now. Hey friends, it's Becca and welcome back to another video. Now this is your first time watching uh, my videos and you want to inspire your inner artist, learn how to paint, draw or learn anything else art related, then start now by subscribing down below so you can see more awesome videos. So first of all, what is an art gallery? So art gallery is basically a space where you showcase your artwork, uh, whether it's paintings, sculptures, performance art. Now, how does an art gallery work? So you have to think of an art gallery like a store, okay? Uh, let's use a grocery store, for example. So when you walk into a grocery store, there's different brands, right? Just same way you go to an art gallery, there's just different artists. Each brand has different products. Same thing, each artist has different paintings. So when you go to a store, right, and you purchase a product from the grocery store, the grocery store gets a commission off of each product sold. On top of that, these brands pay the grocery stores a certain amount of money to rent out a certain part of the aisle to showcase their products. Same thing as an artist. The artists rent out a certain part of the gallery to showcase the artwork, which is their product. So with me here? So as an artist, you have to think art gallery as essentially a business okay so first after you get accepted you have to one pay the art gallery to rent out that space now it varies you could go i mean you could go anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars to 10 20 30 thousand dollars depending on what gallery you're at um also depending on if it's you know doing art basil so and so forth uh you have to pay the rent, <laughs> their rent basically. Um, and then the commission, every time they sell um, a piece, on top of that, you have to give them um, anywhere between 20 to 40% off of each piece. So the point of the commissions is for them to help push your work. So just renting out the wall space is not enough for them. They, they get that extra push from selling your artwork. So now that you understand how an art gallery works, um, let me go ahead and break down both the pros and the cons of showcasing an art gallery. So let's start off with the pros. So in regards to the pros, um, it helps build your resume. It gives you um, that experience of talking about your artwork with the public. I think that's really important because one thing is talking about your artwork with friends and family and others is talking to artwork about your artwork um, with complete strangers. So getting that experience I think is very valuable and especially for artists, it is kind of difficult to talk about artwork. Um, so it is a wonderful experience in that regards. And the third thing is it's really good for networking. Um, I've met a lot of my clients through galleries and those relationships blossom over time, especially each time I invite them to a show and they refer me to other clients. So definitely in terms of networking, it's great. So let's talk about the cons. And I think this is really important to talk about because most of your art teachers either one don't have this type of experience or two are not going to tell you by the way which that'll be in another video uh anyways so the cons all right first thing showcasing an art gallery like a legit art gallery is going to cost you a lot of money uh, just to give you an idea um again like we spoke about you know you're paying the rent you're renting that space could go anywhere i mean go as something as low as $900 for say three months um, and go all the way up to 10,000 for five days. I mean, it really varies. And of course, a lot of times the more money you pay, the more legitimate and um, exclusive the art gallery is. So you have a higher chance of meeting those clients. Um, and plus, you know, on top of that rent, you're paying that commission as well. I'm stressing this a lot to you because, you know, in art, we get really into the creative aspect, 
but you need to really understand about numbers as well. Um, in my opinion, um, art galleries, traditional art galleries, is high risk with low return. And I'm gonna talk about a little bit more about that now. Um, so what I mean by high risk and low return. So say you, I'm just giving you an example. Uh, you spend $3,000 at a legitimate gallery. You rent out a space, let's say a space is, could be anywhere between eight to 10 feet. That tends to be the average, uh, 10 feet by 10 feet, a wall space, which you think that's a lot, but that's not a lot. Uh, especially like for me, I love doing large work. So maybe two or th maybe three paintings fit on that. It's not a lot. Okay, so you're spending $3,000 for three months. Um, depending on the gallery, you say you have an exposition each month to sell your artwork. Okay, so you have to hope in, in that each show that you have the right buyer buying that work, okay? Get my return on investment, right? Again, we're talking about numbers here, This, which is a little different from most artists. They won't talk to you about this, but I'm, I have to tell you this. <laughs> um, a lot of risk um, is the artwork that you do not sell. You have to think about where you're going to put it, okay? Uh, that's really important because... If you don't sell it, one, not only is it discouraging, you're in the negative for say almost $4,000, but now you gotta stick the artwork somewhere. And I had a lot of these issues because I love doing huge work. And you know, it came to time that I wasn't selling those large pieces and I, I ran out of decorating my, my house. <laughs> Here's some more wall space. And then it gets discouraging because it starts collecting dust. And you're like, oh my God you know, what I do with it. So all these things, you have to kind of keep this in mind when you're doing a gallery. I recommend doing smaller work, um, limiting to small amounts of pieces, and do, and do keep in mind, you know, that it is a very high cost and a lot of times a low return. So yes, it helps build your resume. Yes, it's a great experience um, talking about your work with the public and fantastic for networking, but you know, it is high cost, a lot of money up front. And if you don't sell any of your artwork, where do you stick it? So definitely keep that in mind when you are approaching an art gallery. And of course, I wish you the best success. I hope you sell all your artwork. <laughs> that is, of course, the ideal and the dream. Now, if you have any uh, experience uh, with an art gallery and something you want to share um, with the viewers, please comment down below. I would love to hear about your experience and any tips that you have um, for anybody that's interested in going towards the art gallery a direction. So thank you so much for spending time with me and uh, learning all these great tips. I just saved you a lot of money <laughs> and a lot of time and heartache. Uh, I wish I knew all this stuff before and guessed it and not teach me this in art school. And um, I wish you the best of success. And I will see you in the next video.